According to President William Ruto, the Kenya Kwanza administration is working to eradicate corruption. Ruto reassured Kenyans yesterday during a press conference at the State House in Nairobi that he would see to it that the relevant authorities take responsibility for any corruption related actions. Our reporter Lea Nilima now reports. Give the people of Kenya an assurance that our government listens to them. The government has paid attention to the concerns of the youth who have been protesting in the streets for the past few weeks in the hopes of creating a better government. For the last one month, I have led the government in engaging and listening to citizens from all walks of life as they express themselves in different forums. The Gen Z's gave a variety of issues, one of which is corruption, which they believe the president should address impartially and successfully. As the foremost national concern requiring urgent and decisive action is the vexing matter of corruption and the non-negotiable desire for accountable leadership and integrity in governance. However, given that court proceedings might take a long time, how will this be addressed given that delayed justice is a major factor in denied justice? I will be proposing amendments to the Evidence Act and the Criminal Procedure Code, among other necessary legislative amendments to all statutes relating to corruption, to expedite investigations and prosecution of corruption and economic crimes cases. Kenyans have been asked to report any instances of corruption without holding back, confident in the knowledge that the government will safeguard them all and work to eradicate corruption. We'll also be proposing amendments to the Witness Protection Act to overhaul the statutory and institutional framework to protect and incentivize whistle blowers. As time goes by, will the nation eventually see the errors of its ways or the young people constantly be seen on the streets holding signs and banners and shouting anti-corruption slogans? Reporting for Tandao TV News Outlook, my name is Leah Nelima.